Hello students, class 7, CBSC. We know something about heat and temperature of chapter 4. What do you mean by heat? Heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy. Heat is a form of energy usually when heat it is usually when it is that is heat when it is received by a body its temperature increases its temperature increases and and if heat is rejected by a body heat is released by a body if Heat, we write heat, is released by a body, its temperature decreases, its temperature decreases. But when change of state, that is uh, from solid to liquid, liquid to gas, or inversely, gas to liquid, liquid to solid. But when, when change of state of a body or substance, occurs then by receiving or releasing heat the temperature of the body remains same or constant then by releasing or receiving releasing or receiving of heat, the temperature does not change. Temperature of the body does not change, does not change. So, we define heat. Heat is a form of energy. Usually when it is received by a body, its temperature increases. And if it is released, it right, heat, that is heat. It is released by a body, its temperature decreases. But when change of state of a body occurs, then by releasing or receiving of heat, the temperature of the body does not change, that is remain same, that is constant, that is constant. If now we know about temperature. About temperature. Temperature Temperature. Temperature is the temperature is the 
थर्मल कंडीशन ऑफ ए बॉडी इज द थर्मल कंडीशन इज देव दिज द थर्मल कंडीशन कंडीशन ऑफ बॉडी ऑफ ए बॉडी थर्मल कंडीशन ऑफ ए बॉडी इज टेम्परेचर इज ए थर्मल कंडीशन ऑफ ए बॉडी दैट इज डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस दैट इज डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस ऑफ ए बॉडी डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस टेम्परेचर इज द थर्मल कंडीशन ऑफ ए बॉडी दैट इज डिग्री ऑफ हॉटनेस और कोल्डनेस ऑफ ए बॉडी हुई डिटर माइंड स्विच सिग्निफाइज हुईच हुईच डिटर माइंड द डायरेक्शन ऑफ हिट फ्लो हुईच डिटर माइंड That is signifies the direction of heat flow. That is when when two bodies are in thermal contact. Find two bodies are in thermal contact. Find two bodies. Find two bodies are in thermal contact. Thermal contact. Then. Heat will, heat will flow from one body having higher temperature, having higher. temperature body is in thermal contact the heat will flow from one body having high temperature to the other body to the other body having lower temperature Having lower temperature, and this flow of heat continues until both of them attain the same temperature. Lower temperature, huh? when. they attain the same temperature when they attain the same temperature the same temperature when they attain the same temperature then heat Heat ceases to flow. Now, temperature. Temperature is the thermal condition of a body. That is degree of hotness or coldness of a body, which determines the direction of heat. Which determines the direction of heat flow. Direction of heat flow. 
that is when two bodies are in thermal contact are brought in thermal contact are in thermal contact the heat will flow from one body having higher temperature to other body having lower temperature when they are attain the same temperature the heat ceases to flow that is heat flow is stopped now we write sub differences at units at first to write the units or in the case of differences we have write the units differences between heat and temperature differences between heat and temperature we write in the left hand side as heat and in the right hand side temperature number 1 what is heat we may define here heat is a form of energy which is called a thermal energy heat is a form of energy and the amount of heat amount of heat in a body depends upon depends upon its mass its mass that is m we write m specific heat that is nature of the substance nature of the body material of the body mass specific heat specific heat is and temperature and temperature that is t we see that h equal to m s and t m s t h equal to m s t h is equal to m s t total amount of heat is mass times specific heat times temperature now number 1 temperature temperature define it already temperature is the thermal condition thermal condition that is degree of hotness or coolness degree of hotness or coolness of a body temperature is the thermal condition that is degree of hotness or coldness of a body more than sufficient we write this number 2 so we write in the next 2 3 4 and so on number 2 we does the number 1 now we write number 2 that is point 2 number 2 number 2 the total heat content 
टोटल हीट कंटेंट टोटल हीट कंटेंट टोटल हीट कंटेंट इन ए बॉडी इज नॉट मेजरेबल इज इज नॉट मेजरेबल measurable is not measurable only only heat amount of heat content or amount of heat only amount of heat amount of heat received or released amount of heat received or released received or released by a body by a body may be measured may be measured number 2 in the side of temperature total temperature total temperature or increase or decrease in temperature or increase or decrease in temperature all can be measured all can be measured that is the total heat content in a body is not measurable only amount of only amount amount of heat received or released by a body may be measured can be measured total temperature increase or decrease total temperature total temperature or increase or decrease in temperature all can be measured all can be measured all can be measured all can be Number three. These points, notes in your exercise book. Now we write the third point. Number three. Two bodies. The heat content, total amount of heat content. in two bodies or in other language we write it that first we write here the units in cgs system the unit of heat is in cgs fps and nks cgs system or the unit of heat is calorie in cgs system the unit of heat is calorie in fps cgs means centimeter gram second fps means foot pound second FP system it is British thermal unit B T H U British thermal unit and in 
SI or M case, SI system, it is that is unit of heat. It is Joule. Symbolized as capital J. Symbolized as capital J. The CGS system, in CGS system, the unit of heat is calorie. In FPS system, it is British thermal unit B, full stop, pH, full stop, U, full stop. And in SI system, it is Joule. We write in a capital letter J, but in this word, J is small letter. Number three, in the temperature side. In CGS, FPS, and MKS or SI. MKS means SI or SI system. The unit of the unit of units of temperature are CGS degree Celsius degree Celsius comma in a phase system degree all right degree Fahrenheit that is degree F and what is the SIC unit Kelvin and Kelvin respectively Kelvin that is capital K respectively Nice. Right. In CGS, FPS, and NK system or SI system, the units of temperature are degree Celsius, degree Celsius, degree Fahrenheit, and Kelvin, respectively. Here, yeah. see that no degree sign is put in the case of Kelvin. Degree Kelvin may be sounded, but Kelvin, no degree sign is given is required no required next number 4 Two bodies having different temperatures, having different temperatures, different temperatures. When brought in thermal contact, when brought in thermal contact, brought in thermal contact, thermal contact, two bodies having different temperatures, when brought in thermal contact, the direction of direction of 
heat flow does not heat flow two bodies having different temperatures and brought brought in thermal contact the direction of heat flow determines by their temperatures by their temperatures not by their amount of heat amount of heat when two bodies two bodies having different temperatures when brought in thermal contact the direction of heat flow determine that determines the heat flow determined by their temperature difference determines by their temperature difference not by their amount of heat now we write after inversing this heat will always flow from higher to lower temperature heat will always flow from higher to lower temperature heat will always flow from higher to lower temperature here we write this heat will always flow from higher to lower temperature heat will after that heat will always flow from a body having higher temperature having higher temperature to the body to the body having lower temperature anti this process continues this flow flow of heat of heat will continue will continue until both of them attain the same temperature until until both of them both of them attain the same temperature and in both as in now heat will always flow from a body having higher temperature to the body to the body having lower temperature this flow of heat will continue until both of them attain the same temperature now we write the point 4 in the temperature side in the temperature side temperature difference between two bodies determine the direction of heat flow now you write 
the direction of heat flow in which direction heat will always flow from higher temperature body to the lower temperature body until both have attained the same temperature you write in your exercise book next part next 5.5 Point five. Five. Now, heat content in a body is compared. Heat content in a body is compared. with the amount of liquid with the amount of liquid kept in a vessel kept in a vessel here yeah. we discuss it in the next time number temperature of a body is compared with the level of water here the amount of liquid here the level of liquid compared with the level of liquid kept in a vessel kept in a vessel now we discuss these two points that is heat content in a body the total amount of heat in a body is compared with the amount of liquid kept in a vessel but here temperature of a liquid is compared with the level of liquid here level level of liquid kept in a vessel it is compared with the level of liquid temperature and heat is compared with the amount of the liquid taken in a vessel we see what this means let us consider that is temperature is the heat level temperature is the heat level Yeah, but we write these points only. Now, let us consider two vessels. Two vessels. They have a common pipe attached to them. One is of larger cross sectional area. One is of the larger cross sectional area. And the other is small, small cross section area. Now, we this is the level of liquid. Level of liquid, and in this narrow, that is smaller cross section area, liquid level is this. We open the key so that liquid flow is possible. Now, this level is higher for H1 and this level is lower, that is H2. Though the vessel 1, vessel A, and this is the vessel B. Though vessel A, this is one, this is two. Vessel A, the level of liquid is H1. In the vessel B, level is H2. Now, we want to flow the liquid by taking the key here. Tap, tap. Next. We see that in this case, amount of liquid is higher, 
large, larger or larger, but here amount of liquid is smaller. But when they are collected commonly, that is in the, in the common pipe, in the common pipe, then the water does not flow, the liquid does not flow from the vessel A to the vessel B, though its amount of liquid is larger than that in the vessel B. We see that liquid will flow from the higher level to the lower level. That is, amount of liquid does not determine its direction of flow. Only level of liquid determines the direction of flow. Hence, level is same as the temperature. Temperature determines the heat and hence amount of liquid is the amount of heat. Right? And this process continues until the level of both of them, both of the vessel remains same, become same. Then the flow will cease to act. Now, now we discuss in the next class the temperature measurement scale that is thermometer.